Okay. Come on, let's go. Did you find it? Finally. What is it? Something you use to scoop spaghetti out of boiling water. I got one of those. It's called a husband. Don't you think this hat makes me look just like Princess Diana? Nope. Let's go to sportswear. I still have to get Kelly's birthday present. Well, slow down, would you? I can't. I've got to be in the office by 11. It's Saturday. It's pro bono Saturday. Graham's out of town. It's just me and Odessa. The tortoise and the hare. Exactly. And I will not be late for my 5 o'clock cooking class. Huge cooking class, shopping, pro bono Saturday. And then a birthday party for your best friend's daughter. I'm exhausted already. What kinds of things do 15-year-old girls like, anyway? Boys. What floor are they on? Get her a CD. But what? I don't want to give a 90s version of Frankie Avalon. She'll never want to be my friend. Look, just as long as it has smashing or bruised in the title, she's yours forever. 7.30 tonight, right? Yes, and please don't be late. I might need some help keeping those hormone-ravaged teenagers from having sex on my front lawn. Can I bring anything? Pepper spray. Absolutely right. Oral contracts can be binding. All I know is he told me I had the job and now somebody else is doing it. I'll try to get an injunction, hold the project till the court can make a determination. I sure appreciate this, Miss Jackson. I'm trying to get my own business going, you know, get my life together. Um, I promise I'll pay you next time. Let's hope there isn't a next time. <laughs> Uh, Odessa, can you work all day? As long as my feet don't swell. I'll look at them. I really need you. I have got to get out of here by 4.30. I know you were raised to have the faith of a mustard seed, honey, but it's already 11.30. Let's get moving. But I don't care that he grabbed the man's ass at the water cooler. All I care about is that he got the job and I didn't. Do you and the other man have the same qualifications? In or out of bed? Are you sure this is enough food? Look, if we start to run low, all we do is cut each sandwich into four little pieces. That's what Jesus did when he fed that 5,000 people and only had two loaves of bread. It was six, and he served fish, too. Tuna salad. I read all about it in the book of Matthew. You're crazy. And nobody went home hungry. And psychologically it works, see, because nobody would be so uncouth to take four sandwiches at once. Fire brigade! Help! Well, am I hungry? Geez, these are small. So, mm, mm, mm. I told all the neighbors that you were having a party. <clears throat> and not to worry because. Because everybody knows the rules. The party's over at 11. No loud music, alcohol, drugs, or cigarettes. This means you too, Mom. How did those get in there? And promise you won't embarrass me and walk through the living room every five minutes? Well, how many kids are coming anyway? I've been meaning to talk about that. Kelly? Well, I invited 25. <sighs> we can have that shit. I don't think she's finished yet. It's just that, well, when Susie Newberry had a party last month, she only invited 25 people, too. And? Well, over 100 showed up. <laughs> and I'm a lot more popular than Susie. Yeah. Ready for the next one? Send them in. Then call the mayos and see if they have dried shiitakes. Sh what? Shiitakes, they're mushrooms. I need a pound. How many people still waiting? Five. <sighs> have them deliver. Mm-hmm. Looks like your mustard seed paid off. You're gonna make it after all. Here are your mushrooms. $16 a pound. Honey, we are in the wrong business. But that's these aren't shiitakes. All they had were portobellos. Well, just mushrooms, aren't they? Right. They're just mushrooms. 
Excuse me, Miss Jackson? Sorry, honey, we're closed. I didn't think I needed an appointment. It's just late. I, I could see you on Monday. Someone at school threatened my son. Well, if it's a school situation, it's probably best you speak with his principal. No. You see, Nevis, that's my boy. He saw a gun in the locker next to his. Oh, well, then there's no question to report this to the police. No! Larry Hubert, the boy with the gun, said that he would empty it in Nevis's back if he told anyone about it. No. He's afraid to go to school, that not that I would let him go anyway. He's only 14. Please. I'll lock up. Come on in. Tell me everything. She's a single mom, works all day. What school is it? Lanthrop. It's okay, say it. Thank God it isn't Kelly or Davis's school. Hey, scary stuff. I've been trying to reach the principal all day. If I don't hear from him, I am definitely going down there first thing Monday morning. Well, are you just ask me to my concert? I mean, I mean, they said he would, but I was a tripping dead. I mean, oh, it's just. Razor? From the Latin meaning cool. When are we gonna meet this Marshall guy? She hasn't introduced you yet? Ken Starr had better luck getting that dress out of Monica Lewinsky's closet. <laughs> we don't even know what he looks like. Come on, sneak a peek. She said he played football. I'm gonna kill him. Call your sit down before you do something stupid. You think this is funny? I'm sorry. He had his hand on my daughter's breast. I'm gonna kill him, I am. Oh, come on, you two were making out in the bushes when you were 11 years old. That was different. Why? Where do you think you're going? To see if anybody's hungry. Oh, no, you don't. I'll do it. <laughs> Want some dip? Boy. <laughs> What's he doing now? Trying to touch her boobies. Let me see. Ow! 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 Oh, you evil little twerp! Do you think Teresa's gonna tell your mom we were spying on her? Are you crazy? I hate history reports. I love history. It's always the same old story, like when President Lincoln got shot at the Ford dealership. It was a theater. I like writing stories. You can make anything happen to anybody. My hand's cramping up. It looks like cops and robbers. You're not a cop, Emmy, and I'm not a robber. Oh, come on. Hide behind Davy Crockett Street before I kill you. All right. Your tummy been hurting you? Just a day or two. Thought it was all the chocolate cake I ate at Aunt May's birthday. It wasn't the cake, honey. What happened is you got your gift. My gift? Mm hmm. A gift that God gives only to women. It's called your period. And it's gonna last almost a week. Really? Mm hmm. And from now on, it's gonna happen every month. Means that you're a woman now. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk more about that later. And we can read some books together. 
That way, if you have any questions, I'll be right there to answer them. Thanks, Mama. What? It's just that this happened a lot sooner than I expected. That's all. It wouldn't have happened at all if Emmy and I weren't playing cops and robbers. Oh, of course it would. Today was just your time, that's all. And playing cops and robbers isn't a womanly thing to do. At least not for the rest of the week. Emmy only wants to do boy things. She doesn't want to be a woman like me. Mm -hmm. She'll get that too, darling. All in God's time. I'm glad I'm finally a young woman, Mama. This is a special time for mother and daughter. I'm so glad we could talk about this together. Why do you think she's in such a hurry to grow up? Like you weren't? Look, you can still have that talk with her, that mother-daughter chat thing. Yes, Collier, I'll do the hard part, and you can still be the best daddy in the whole wide world. Good, I think that would be best. Morning. Oh, isn't it a beautiful day? <laughs> it's raining. So? What did you think of Marshall? <sighs> Kelly, don't you think Marshall's a little old for you? I knew you'd say that. Kelly, you don't understand. Boys that age only have one thing on their mind. For example, what is this? An orange? No. To a teenage boy, it's a breast. <laughs> and this? Mother! It's a breast, Kelly. <laughs> breast. 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 It's all they have on their mind, and you have two of them. So stand guard and claim your ground. Protect your womanhood and know <laughs> that between the ages of 13 and 147, a man really isn't interested in knowing the true sisterhood spirit self. That is you. So don't give it away. You got that? I got it. Oh, but I still think he is the coolest guy on earth. Well, before you pick out your china, could you go toss out the paper plates in the living room? Oh. Boy. Trash bag. Living room. But, Mom, girls mature earlier than boys. That's why I need an older man. Like I need a heart attack. But the other guys seem like babies next to him. Where did this beer bottle come from? Mom, I, I don't know, I swear. Think. I, I didn't see anyone drinking. It was your responsibility to see. But, Mom, I really didn't. You knew the rules and you broke them. Don't tell me you and Daddy never broke the rules and got drunk. This isn't about Daddy and me. <sighs> Who brought the alcohol, Kelly? I don't know. Well, maybe going to your room will jar your memory. You're grounded. Why? God, that's not fair. Daddy? Don't even try it. <sighs> what about the concert? There ain't gonna be any concert. Oh, you can't do that! I can and I did. Go to your room. What? Nothing. Just half a cup or I'll be up all night. I'm meeting with Nevis School Principal first thing in the morning. French vanilla or hazelnut almond? You going gourmet on me? Hey, it's the ozone, I swear. Mom, can I talk to you? I'm not changing my mind, Kelly. It was just one bottle, Mom. And besides, Marshall asked me to the concert before it happened. No! Do you think it's fair, Renee? Well, if you were my daughter... Which she isn't. I'd expect you to do as I say. But, Mom... No! Go to your room! You don't even listen to me anymore! How long is she grounded? Three weeks. Over one bottle of beer? Yes, over one bottle of beer. Come on, Emmy. We've done the same things. Do you remember that horrible slow gin fizz punch you made in Grandma Otis's basement? We were sick for days, but we survived, didn't we? We were lucky, and if you don't believe that, just talk to any mother who's lost a child to drunk driving. One bottle of beer. That's how it starts. Just one bottle of beer. What about that time that freight train missed us by what? Two feet? Because we were drinking and thought we could beat it in the car. Another two seconds and we would all have been killed. 
You're overreacting. If I have to overreact to keep my child alive, I will. Emmy? I'm doing what I think is best, okay? Please stay out of this, all right? No advice. Okay. Lovely to be a woman. The wait was well worthwhile. How lovely to wear mascara and smile a woman's smile. Yes. Mom said I could come and visit. Okay. But just for a while. So, what you got all over your mouth? Lipstick. Women wear it to look pretty. Mm. So, how you feeling? My stomach hurts and I have a pretty bad headache. Mm. I'm sorry you're still feeling bad. Hmm. Mama named hers. What you gonna call yours? It's my period. It doesn't need a name. It's a beautiful gift that's gonna be with me for a long time. Hmm. Well, Auntie Lulu's lesson until her ovals dried up like raisins. Thanks for visiting, Emmy. Maybe we can talk tomorrow. Right now, I need my womanly rest. Hmm. Don't you want to go exploring? I've changed. Can't do boy things with you anymore, Amy. Guess I'll see you later, Renee. Bye. <laughs> she just stood there like she was invited or something. Oh, I thought she'd never leave. Kelly. I want to talk to you. I'm late for class. Now. I'll see you guys later. You put me in a really horrible position last night. I didn't mean for you to see me. But I did see you, and you knew I saw you, and you did it anyway. What did you expect me to do? If I tell your mother, I get you in trouble. If I don't tell your mother, I get me in trouble. She doesn't have to know. So you want me to lie to my best friend? No. Then what would you have me do? This has nothing to do with you and Mom. You made it about your mom and me the moment you did it in front of me. She doesn't even listen to me. Do you think she was right? I'm not going to go there with you, Kelly. I promise I won't do it again. Please don't tell her. Body tells me I'm making a mistake. All right, I won't tell her, but you must never put me in that position again. Yes, ma'am. I tried doing something nice for her, huh? It just might ricochet back. Enter with glee. You know anything about what's in the oven? It's Kelly. You're roasting Kelly for dinner? I know she's been a naughty girl, but don't you think that's a bit severe? <laughs> I'm glad to see you got your sense of humor back. Renee gave me an ear bending. You think I'm being unreasonable? I think you're the best mother in the whole wide world. In other words, you think I'm being unreasonable? I don't know. This is the first time we've had a 15-year-old. You're getting awful soft, considering you watch a 17-year-old tight end play connect the dots on your daughter's right breast. Yeah, well, sugar. The clock is ticking. Sex is gonna happen. But not in our living room, and not until she's 40. <laughs> yeah. So, you believe her? I don't think she knew anything about that beer bottle until she saw it in the hot little hands of the best mother in the whole wide world. 
So beer is okay, and we should just let her skip off into the sunset without a second thought, learning nothing from this experience. I also think it can be a good experience knowing that your parents believe you when you tell the truth. Ouch. Hey, come on, Shug. Besides, that beer could have been one of ours. I thought about that. It was a green bottle from Germany. Ours come in aluminum cans from Milwaukee. Ooh, just so, Grasshopper. <laughs> Kelly! Would you come down here? Your dad and I want to see you. You want to do this, or should I? I think you're doing fine. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about your grounding, and um, I've come to the conclusion that I wasn't thinking. Yeah. So I've, your dad and I have decided that you can go to the concert with Big Ben. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you won't be sorry, I promise, thank you. But just the concert, and you have to be home by midnight. But all the kids are going to the movies tomorrow night. Without you. Mom. Don't push your luck on this, kid. The rest of the grounding continues as agreed, understood? Yes, ma'am. And one more thing. I didn't change my mind because you threw a chicken in the oven. I changed my mind because I was wrong, sort of. Whatever. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> well, maybe it helped remember when we were kids. Oh, come on, I'm trying to forget it. If I do remember it, I wouldn't let her out of her room until she's old enough to collect Social Security. Oh, come on, Shug. Think about it. Us jumping off Larson's Cliff into the reservoir. Naked in the middle of the night. We ought to both be dead. Thank God we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, call you. I wanna marry you. Hey, hey, Mary Elizabeth. I wanna. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, God, do you think you can get your daddy's station wagon Friday night? Mary Elizabeth, your mama sees us in that car. She'll ground you. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> you my woman. because Renee couldn't come. Yesterday, she started bleeding all over the place. Oh, my. She says it's because she became a woman. Oh. Well, yes, um, it is all about being a woman. It's called menstruation. Why did they call it a men's station? It's about being a woman. No, dear. Menstruation. Let's look it up in the dictionary, shall we? M E N. As here it is. Menstruation. The periodic discharge of blood and mucosal tissue from the uterus occurring approximately monthly from puberty to menopause in non pregnant women and other primate female species. Understand? No, I don't understand. I've left you 12 messages this weekend. Why haven't you returned my call? Well, I didn't know it was about a gun, okay? But maybe Nevis told his mother all this because he only heard about it. Maybe he didn't really see it. He told her he saw the gun in Larry Huber's gym bag. Why are you so resistant to this? Because I have a school board to answer to, and if I search Larry Huber's locker, I'm risking a lawsuit for this school, I'm not to mention myself. I am relieved to see that you are so concerned about the safety of your students. Well, of course I'm concerned. I am well aware of what's going on these days. 
kids shooting each other just because someone looks at them wrong? Then do what I'm suggesting. Recent case law says that students don't have expectation of privacy in their lockers. Tell them that you started an anti-gun program and that all lockers will be searched. Huber won't know that Nevis talked, and Nevis will be safe. I'll make a few calls, get things moving. Good. No, I was 12. Lonnie Jones called me a sissy. I broke his nose. Principal called my father, congratulated him. Today I'd be arrested for assault and battery. We live in a different time. You know, if kids were really smart these days, they wouldn't get guns. They'd get law degrees. Just make you so nuts. Pick up the phone and say I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Then don't call. Then I'll just keep stewing because I know I'm right and she's wrong, but... What makes me really crazy is that she thinks she's right and I'm wrong. It's too late to call now anyway. It's too late to call now anyway. Besides, why should I say I'm sorry? She's the one who's wrong. How many times do I have to tell you, Renee? I know, I know. You, you can, can be, be right or you, you can, can be happy. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 it's all right. I'll be there. Mary Elizabeth. Kelly. I thought you called your mother. I changed my mind. This is my attorney. She and three of her friends were pulled over for drunk driving. Where are the others? Home with their parents. The driver's still waiting for his to post bail. Release her into my custody. I'm a friend of the family's, at least for now. I'm also an attorney. She told you the truth about that. You got a bar card? I'll get the paperwork together. could have been killed. Do you know that? We were going that Killed! Drinking is one thing, but getting into a car... I only had one beer! It doesn't matter how many you had. You either drank or you didn't. You're not going to tell Mom, are you? Kelly, we have already had this discussion. Don't kill me! I would, too! <laughs> and don't you start crying, because it's not going to do any good. I don't know why I got in the car with those guys. Well, maybe your mother will have some answers. I'm taking you home. No! Good. You don't know how she gets. Oh, come on, Kelly. Give your mother a break. Oh, give your mother a break, Kelly. Don't do that to your brother, Kelly. You know your father has a bad back, Kelly. The world is in here for your convenience, Kelly. Ready? One minute. Even when I try, I do stuff right. You know, the, the, the way I think she wants me to so she won't get mad. I screw it up anyway. I try, Renee. <laughs> I really do. Kelly, you just got stopped for being in a car with a bunch of kids who were drinking. That's not trying. If you just take me home, I can get into the house. Now you want me to look the other way while you sneak into the house. Please, no! Don't tell my mother. I'm not going to tell your mother, Kelly. You are. Come on. Clean yourself up before you go home. Flatten the tissue like this. How it won't get all over your fork. <laughs> so funny. Look. Looks okay to me. He put on too much. Told you to use the mirror instead of that can of night crawlers. You were hogging the mirror. Here, take it off. Let me show you how to do it right. Just because you got your period, you think you know everything. I know how to put rouge on without smearing it all over my face. So what? Can't see it on a colored skin anyway. You just don't like making yourself pretty, that's all. What's this? My How to Be a Woman kit. I got it with my first box of pads. Hey, 
Hey, this will make a great slingshot. Give that back. What other horse crap's in here? Hey, let's play pin the tail on the jackass. Now you've ruined it. I'm going home. Never had your period, so you don't know what you're talking about. I was just joking. Being a woman isn't nothing to joke about, Mary Elizabeth. It was a gas. His hand would get like three inches from my right one, and then I'd push it off. I swear his heart almost stopped a hundred times. It was hysterical. Risa, I'm on the phone, Squirt. How'd you get your period? My what? You know, your monthly. Oh, my God. I think my little boy sister just started a period. You didn't, did you, Squirt? I mean, what are you, like, four? I'm ten. I'll call you back. You're much too young for your life to be over. Tell me you didn't start. No, Renee did. How'd you start? It was August. Hot. I was in the pool with Johnny McDonald wearing the cutest little gents in one piece. When all of a sudden, the water turned red, just like that scene with Charlton Heston in the Ten Commandments, and all the boys started yelling, Shark attack! Shark attack! I jumped out of the pool and ran, ran, ran all the way home. It's the worst day of my life. Well, Renee calls it her gift. Who's she been talking to? Santa Claus? It's a horror. The worst stomach ache of your life. Your head and legs pound in pain, and you retain gallons of water. Even your breasts hurt. I don't care. Just tell me how I can get it. Well, you know that pogo stick in the garage? What you have to do is jump up and down on that thing 500 times. How come? to get the flow started, silly. <laughs> hey, Spaz. What? 500 jumps. Even if you fall on 499, you have to start all over again. <laughs> How stupid could you get? This is all Marshall's doing, wasn't it? I'm going over there. Where's that kid live? If anybody's going over there, it's going to be the three of us. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what, you'd be embarrassed? <laughs> Kelly. Honey, why'd you do this? I didn't know we were going to drink. Oh, so what you're saying is they tied you up and poured it down your throat. I don't think so. Mom, will you please just listen to me for once? I didn't get caught on purpose. I'm sorry. You have no idea how sorry you're going to be, young lady. God! Where are you going? To my room! We're out! Good! I told you it wouldn't work! I'll go talk to her. Thank you for bringing her home. You okay? My 15-year-old daughter just got arrested and called my best friend instead of me to bail her out. No. I'm not okay. You got so drunk at the senior prom, you drove the car off the road into an electrified fence. Tell me you didn't tell her that. I told her that we had a hard time growing up. Emmy, you were wild at 15. This isn't about me at 15. This is exactly about you at 15. You were out of control. That's why you can't talk to her. I talk to Kelly. You talk at her. There's a big difference. You police her so much because you do understand her. You don't want her to make the same mistakes that you did. Well, I'd say she's well on her way. Yesterday, Kelly told me that she... Yesterday? When did you talk to her yesterday? I went to see her at her school. Why? Because I saw her sneak out of the house the other night when you told her to go to her room. What? I know, I know. I should have told you. I... You bet your ass you should have told me. My God, Renee, whose side are you on anyway? It's about sides, Emmy. Why didn't you call me and tell me to come down and get my own daughter? Because I was... I was trying to help. I've already lost one child. And you're going to lose another one if you don't stop being a cop and start being a mother. 
You certainly know an awful lot about mothering, considering you've never been one. You are such a bitch! Was I a nightmare as a little girl? Oh, you had dreams. But I don't believe any of them were particularly unpleasant. Now, this would be darling on you. It looks like Laura Ashley threw up on me. Well, I think it's cute. Did you think it was cute when I was eight and set fire to the garage? And a simple pair of bone pumps would pull it all together. Mother, there's something you need to know. Something I've been afraid to tell you. Mm-hmm. I'm pregnant again, and President Clinton is the father. Even though Collier's a Republican, he doesn't care because he's having an affair with Butch McGinty down at the Arco station. Is there something you want to talk to me about, dear? I guess not. I need you to call the county clerk. Here's a recipe that uses white champagne mushrooms. I suppose I could always take the portobellos back to Mayo's. They're not mushrooms anymore, Dessa. They're doorstops. Let it go. The day, school shooting at Lanthrop High. One student is reported dead, although reports at this time can't confirm. It's the first incident of a school-related gun fatality since last year. <laughs> So she's okay. What happened? Never shot Larry Huber. Got hold of a gun somewhere. We were waiting to hear from our lawyers. No. 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 Larry. No. Nevis, my baby. Nevis, my baby. Stop pushing him. It was self-defense. Tell him. Tell them. Tell them it was self-defense. I mean, that's what it was. He was just protecting himself. Please. <laughs> you know it's open. Do you think it's possible for people to change? Renee says we can't change other people. We can only change ourselves. She's probably right. Crying. You don't have to cry about this anymore. I mean, go ahead if you want to. I hate it when people tell me not to cry. Can I ask you something we've never talked about before? Sure. You and Daddy had to get married, didn't you? If you mean, was I pregnant? Yeah. Would you do it different if you could? Well... If that hadn't happened, I would have loved to finish college and win the Pulitzer Prize. Then I might not have married your dad, and then I would never have had you, and I just can't imagine my life without you, which is probably why I get so nuts sometimes. How old were you when you got pregnant? I'm sure you've done the math. Why are you asking me this now? It's just The kids are having sex, Mom, and I don't want to. Well, then you don't have to, darling. But I didn't want to get in that car either, and I did. Oh, oh. Shh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I think it's a good thing this happened now. Guess this is how we learn. And thank God nobody got her. Mom. It's so hard, isn't it? Knowing what's right and screwing up anyway. <laughs> I know, because I have made some blister-ass mistakes in my life. I know, Kel, I look at you sometimes, and it's just like I'm going back in a time machine or something, like I've got a chance to do it over again and say something like, oh, oh, don't go there. You get burned. But it's not my life I'm watching. It's your life. And if I live it, then you'll never find your wings so you can fly. I want 
you to fly so much, Kelly. I want you to fly so much. <laughs> I said I couldn't do stuff with you anymore. I made a mistake. Pleasant morning, Miss Renee. Mary Elizabeth, you've been jumping on and off that thing all morning. Take a break before your spine collapses. Then you'll be all bent over like Lou Anne McPherson. Her nose practically touches the ground when she walks. Yeah, well, she's been a woman for a hundred years. I have to start first. What's all this talk about being a woman? I got my gift this week, Miss Otis. Oh, that's wonderful, Renee. My deepest sympathies. And I want mine, too. I think someone's giving you wrong information, Mary Elizabeth. You'll never be a woman if your ovaries fall out. Now, you know, give me that thing. This is supposed to be a toy, not a curse. Now, you two stop worrying about being women and go be little girls. Want to go run around the lake? That's not a womanly thing to do. That's not true. My mama told me all about Wilma Rudolph. She's a Negro. And even though she was born with polio, she won three gold medals at the Olympics three years ago. Besides, I've had it with being a woman. You have? Yeah, my stomach hurt really bad. You could go down to the river and skip rocks. Mine always sink show you how to do it right. And I'm sure one day I'll get my gift. Since you know all about it, you can help me. Tell me how long my stomach hurts. I've got the worst cramps. Great, that means I'm gonna start. How you holding up? I don't know. Just seeing that body wrapped up in a sheet, and knowing there was a 14-year-old little boy in there. Nevis in handcuffs. It's horrible. Both mothers were there. They both lost a child. I'm sorry I called you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I didn't have it coming. The world's such a minefield of crap these days, and I'm so afraid Kelly's gonna step in it up to her eyeballs. I wish I could help. I'll tell you what. If she does step in it, you can clean her shoes. That's a good job for her in. Thank you for calling things the way you saw them. You were right about a lot of it. Right? What's that? Mom always says, life would come together when I realized I could be right or I could be happy. <laughs> my mother always said that my life would come together with a simple pair of bone pumps. <laughs> I think it was a lot easier to be a kid when we were growing up. Sometimes. Going down to the swimming hole and looking naked, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I do. I know you do. <laughs> you haven't changed, Mary Elizabeth. You haven't changed at all. 